dear students welcome back today uh, in this class we are going to practice few more questions from the topic introduction to graphs now in the previous class i was telling you about uh, plotting the points on a graph or a coordinate plane now again i am going to give you a few points and we will plot those points on a graph paper the points are 4 comma 0 4 comma 2 Four comma six, four comma two point five, one comma one, two comma two, three comma three, four comma four. Two comma three, five comma three, five comma five, and two comma five. Okay, so these are the points that we are going to plot on the on the graph or the coordinate plane. So first of all. i'll make the graph like this you know this is the x axis and this is y axis okay now this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 on this side minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 Minus seven, minus eight. Here also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All in negative. Now, as I told you in the previous class, if you use a graph paper, then you don't have to make these markings because. Uh, those markings were there in the graph paper now the first point is 4 comma 0 so 1 2 3 4 this point will be 4 comma 0 this a is 4 comma 0 next b point is 4 comma 2 so 4 comma 2 this point is b which is 4 comma 2 okay A is four comma zero and B is four comma two. Then C is four comma six. So this is four. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the point four comma six. C point is four comma six. Clear? Now the D point and the D point is four comma two point five. Now see if this is two. And this is three. Then here it will be two comma five, two point five. I'm sorry. In between two and three, at the middle of two and three, it is two point five. So this point is D, which is four comma two point five. Okay. So you can see we have plotted all the points, four points. Now next point is P, and P is one comma one. So one comma one point is here. P point, it is one comma one here. Okay, this is P point, which is one comma one. Next point Q is two comma two. So this is two and two. So two comma two is here. Q point is two comma two. Then R is three comma three. Here is point R, which is three comma three, and then S point is four comma four. So here it is four and 
फोर कॉमा फोर हियर दैट इज पॉइंट बी विच पी क्यू आर एस आई एम सॉरी दैट इज एस पॉइंट फोर कॉमा फोर ओके पी क्यू आर एस दैट इज फोर कॉमा फोर देन के पॉइंट इज टू कॉमा थ्री सो टू कॉमा थ्री विल बी हेयर देन फाइव कॉमा थ्री सो दिस इज फाइव एंड फाइव कॉमा थ्री विल बी हेयर Okay, then five comma five. So this is five and one two three four five. So five comma five will be here. This point is five comma five, and then two comma five. So two is here. One two three four five. So two comma five will be here. That is two comma five. That is the end point. Okay. So uh, you can use different graph papers uh, to plot. Uh, as there are so many points and they are plotted on the same graph paper so you can see the points are uh, the points are very congested but if you use a different uh, graph papers for these then you will get uh, the uh, the exact uh, figure now so this was one of the questions now all of you know how to plot various points now in the next question on a graph paper they have given few figures so i'll plot the graph paper first i'll plot the graph Okay, this is the origin, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. This is nine, and this is ten. Okay. And on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now the diagrams are the first diagram is like this: A, B. C and O. That is the first diagram. Okay. A B C O is the first diagram. A B C O is the first diagram. Then ओके एंड सो द नेक्स्ट फिगर इट इज पी Q R S and the third one
ओके सो द सेकेंड वन इज पी क्यू आर एस एंड द थर्ड वन इज एल एम के ओके सो ओनली द फर्स्ट कॉर्डिनेट इज ड्रॉन एंड नाउ यू हैव टू प्लॉट यू हैव टू फाइंड द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ दीज यू हैव टू राइट डाउन द कॉर्डिनेट्स of uh, these points all of these points the last one is l m k now you see in a b c d as you can see point a is actually 2 comma 0 because it lies on the x axis so it is 2 comma 0 point b is 2 comma 3 point c is 0 comma uh, 3 because it lies on the y axis so the x coordinate is 0 so it is 0 comma 3 and o point all of you know this is nothing but the origin and i told you the coordinates of origin is 0 comma 0 now pqrs pqrs the coordinates of p you can see it is 4 comma 3 then coordinates of q will be 6 comma 1 then coordinates of r will be 6 comma 5 and coordinates of s will be 4 comma 7 okay and then l m k the last figure l m k and uh, the l m k coordinates of l will be 7 comma 7 coordinates of l will be 7 comma 7 coordinates of m will be 10 comma 8 coordinates of m will be 10 comma 8 and coordinates of k will be 10 comma 5 10 comma 5 so you can see we can easily uh, read the coordinates of the given points from the graph always remember first we write down the x coordinate and then we write down the y coordinate clear so these are the coordinates of the points now in the next question there are few uh, uh, questions uh, on true and false type first first part is uh, a point whose x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is non zero will lie on the y axis x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is non zero it lies on the y axis so it is true if the x coordinate is 0 and the y coordinate is non zero then it lies on the y axis so the first part is true now the second part the second part is a point whose y coordinate is 0 and the x coordinate is 5 will lie on the y axis now it is false now they are saying that y coordinate is 0 and the x coordinate is 5 so that point will lie on the x axis this point will be will have a coordinate 5 comma 0 that is y coordinate 0 and x coordinate 5 so this point is 5 comma 0 it lies on the x axis not the y axis so the second part is false and one more part is there and it is the coordinates of the origin is uh, 0 comma 0 or uh, the coordinates of origin are 0 comma 0 so this we have already discussed uh, that uh, the coordinates of origin means to find out the coordinates of origin we have to reach origin from origin so we don't have to move any distance from x axis or from y axis Uh, along x axis or y axis so the coordinates of origin is 0 comma 0 that is true so the third part is true okay so with this we have uh, done few questions from uh, this from this uh, uh, graphs and in the next class we will practice a uh, few questions we will revise few questions from the topic uh, factorization because you know these topics are there in your examination 
so we will start factorization in the next class okay thank you